Number 20. What changes occur to the atomic number and the mass of a nucleus during each of the following decay scenarios? And then we have when a beta particle is emitted. Okay, so we're talking about emission here, right? So anything that is emitted is talking about the decay mode of emission. So this is undergoing beta particle emission. Now, if you are emitting something, you are pushing it out into the atmosphere, right? It's not, it's not yours anymore. You're putting it out into the atmosphere. So if that's the case, these particles, whoever we're talking about, is going to be in the products. So PP, products, particles, <laughs> for emission. So we know that this specific beta particle is going to be part of our products. So let's kind of draw a little scenario here, right? So we now are going to do nuclide notation. So here's the three boxes right here. Whenever we're doing nuclide notation, we always do three boxes. And here is my beta particle. But now, you probably have to memorize what a beta looks like. A beta is, is just a fancy electron, right? So it basically is its own, it's just an electron, which means that it has a charge of a negative one. So that's the atomic number. And you could either put an E value for electron, or you can put the B value for beta. It does not matter. And just know that electrons, they're not in the nucleus, so your atomic mass is a zero. Atomic mass always on top, atomic number on the bottom. But now let's just see what happens to the change in the radioactive material. So let's bring in another box, and let's say that this is your radioactive material. Okay, now we could do whatever you want. Let's just make it easy, right? Usually I'll just do carbon, I don't know, carbon 14, right? So big capital C, we have a mass of 14 and atomic number of six. So atomic mass for this one, I just chose it to be 14, but the atomic number always stays exactly the same. Carbon is always gonna be a six. Now we just gotta find out what happens to these changes in the number. So let's bring the new material, right, on the right-hand side, and let's see what happens. We started off with a 14, and we know that this big number has to equal the sum of these two. Well, if this isn't contributing to anything, this still has to be a 14. So, did our atomic mass change by anything? No. So we can say that the atomic mass stays the same. And then let's see what's going on with our atomic number, which is the bottom guy. Let's see. So atomic number, we start off with a six. Negative one plus what will get me six? Yeah, seven. Seven minus one is a six. So what really happened? Oh, it increased. So my atomic number will increase by one. And those are your two changes. So when you're undergoing beta particle emission, the atomic mass will stay the same because electrons have nothing to do with the nucleus, but you just add a number. Um, so yeah, if you want to find out who this is, right, you always look at your uh, atomic number to find out who it is. And on the periodic table, number seven is big, bad nitrogen. But this is the answer. So hopefully that helps. What'd you think? Thank you so much for coming here, getting your chemistry help needs. Uh, we got physics. We got math videos on the channel. We got like 5,000 videos for you guys. And we're going to keep rocking and rolling. Can't stop us. We're just going to keep producing more and more videos for you guys. Um, we also opened up memberships on the channel if you want to help us out a little bit more. Thank you so much for considering. Um, there's tons of perks there, so you could choose a tier. There's four different tiers. You could choose one that fits your fancy. Um, we got tons more stuff coming out to you guys this year, so let's keep rocking and rolling. We work hard, and you guys work hard, and then you get those great grades. I'll see you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.